Who doesn't like relics? <laughs> I think there are a fair number of people. Well, if, this, if you don't like relics, this video <laughs> is not I mean, have you. you been on the internet <laughs> ever? Um, no. Well, I mean, it is funny. We say that as a joke. Obviously, there's people that don't like relics. It's, um, it's a strong vocal minority, actually. <laughs> It is, it, yes. No, it, but it is though, as far as like the sales numbers go, so if you talk to any of the, let's talk about Fender Custom Shop, it's like what, 95% of the guitars are relic. You talk to um, Gibson now with the Murphy Lab, this is a huge launch and yep. it's selling out faster than they had even anticipated. Look at Novos. You know, can you get a non-relic Novo? I don't believe you can. You know, um, the, some of those Echo Park pieces, relic. Uh, you know, John Cruz is getting a launch a guitar. Relic. Everyone's gonna. I don't think you're gonna see like. Can I get that NOS John Cruz? Like, who would probably do? not why you're going to John Cruz. No, that wouldn't make sense. He's like. But anyway, we want to talk about just like relics in general and like the 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 fun. Like, why a relic is awesome. You know, like you know, and you, you can have all the fun you want on the comments later as far as like, hey, why I hate relics. But it's really not about that. I'd say if you do, if that is your 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 mojo and your jam. Like, just you know, it's kind of like just do one of our other videos. Like we're we're talking about the different types and rip into it. If you want to hear, that's cool. It's weird. But it's almost cool. But we're gonna talk about like the relics you love and like why, and what other reasons that we've left out of here. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Let's do a list. Let's do it. Let's do Number it. Number one. Um, I want to pass my guitar off as an illegitimate '60s instrument, so everybody thinks I played it for 50 years. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> I've, I've no, wait, wait. I'm a never, wrong list. I've never met anybody that does that. <laughs> have, I mean, have, have you? It has to happen though. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, and I'm sure it did. Like when sort of relics were a new thing. Right? I, don't, I mean, like, surely no one now, like, probably I mean, even some non guitar players. That's like super douchebaggery, though. Yeah. I would say that that's like, that's not cool. Like, it's 100%. True. Like, I love relics, but that's like, if you're doing that, like, just stop. It doesn't... I, I literally don't know any, not even one person who would be like, yeah, check out this 50. No. No. For real now, number one, they're more interesting than an NOS. Yeah. There's more interesting to look at. That's the, that's the, it's a finish. It's a finish type. It's the way that you like your guitar to look. Yes. It's not that. That's just number one. Like it, it is more visually interesting than usually a brand new one that looks just like a normal production piece. Yeah, it's true. Like I, I the part of the lure of a Novo, I do like that I can see the wood underneath it. I like that there's some checking in it, and there's some wood popping through and some grain. And that's cool. I think that's pretty cool. It's just fun. And the Murphy Lab stuff is exciting. It is exciting. And I'm excited to see what John Cruz comes up with. All that stuff. Um, so that's number one. Easy. Number two. They're unique. Yeah. And what we mean is really, <laughs> e even if a machine was doing the relicking on to wood and nitro lacquer, no two are going to be exactly the same. Right. Like even with some of the new like processes of like the hyper freezing and whatnot that right. the Murphy Labs is doing, like it cannot be this. There is a uniqueness yeah. that is completely yours. Um, like a little fingerprint. And number three sort of links right in there, like no two are identical. Yes. And that, that can be, you know, that's awesome for just the fact that it's like, there's not gonna be one like yours it's ever, yours. but also if it gets stolen. Right. You know, if your guitar is stolen, like you can, there's a way to track it beside your serial number, you can visually see it quickly. Yep. This is in the old days when people would like rip your guitar to gig or something. Right. And like you see them gigging with it a few weeks later in the same- like, Wait a minute. That's my guitar. Sumber Strat, that's not relic, good luck. Like that wear pattern looks like a unicorn. That's my strat, <laughs> right? I mean that 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 yeah that's yeah. God, I'm, I'm gonna have a unicorn on mine eventually. When I'm telling you, when the Ian Ward and the Vincent Van Trite Vin, tr treat. Sorry, I always say trite because I'm sorry, Vincent. It's just I like to say Vince Van Trite. I've been saying it for years. I know because we were all, we're, we're, we're wrong. Trent, I just can't I can't get over it. It's, I watched too many movies, um, but no, I'm I'm gonna have the unicorn a lot this monster. On, on my Stratocaster. It's sort of like when you watch the clouds and you see shapes. You could really like watch. My kids and I see, like we were at shapes. this airport on Sunday, not flying in, we were just go to the airport to watch airplanes land. Why not? Um, we were eating food there too, because it's fun. It is fun. It's outside, it's safe. Um, but we like see cloud shapes and then airplanes land. I'm like that's a World War One fighter plane or that's a giant whale getting ready to eat the world. It's, that's what you do. All good times. Where are we? Okay, number um, four, playability. The playability on these, I think, that are almost unquestionably better. It's really hard to, I'm sure someone will or could, but it's really hard to argue. You got the nice rolled edges on the, the fretboard, so it feels- The finish is like gone on the back. Playing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the a winner. good one for me. Yeah. I can go without the rolled fretboard edges. Like I love it, but I, it's not a- It's, not, it's a, not a necessity. But I love when the finish is off the back. And that's why a lot of guys, you want to get that fine grit sandpaper on, um, on their 
their nitro finished guitars yeah, and just like, gently, if that's an NOS, like an American original, God, how long is it going to be before they start relicking those, do you think? No. Fender. Fender. <laughs> We're calling. We don't, that's weird, like, I always think of like a landline too, like, oh, hold on, I've got another 20 feet of cable. You were like rich when you had like the long extended cable you could buy at Radio Shack and walk That's around and, and hide in the kitchen. Anyway, so Fender, what about these American originals? Let's, um, let's make that happen. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Um, okay, where are we Tara, at? American Number Richard. five, um, you play it better because you're not worried about messing it up. It's true. It's, it's like, it's just, what's the first, worst thing about a guitar? Like what, your brand new guitar? The first thing. Or the first scratch, or anything, yeah. anything when it looks dirty, right? right. Like, oh no, let's just clean it off again. <laughs> right. So, so you're just gonna you're gonna, you're gonna play it with abandon, have fun with it, which leads into number six, which is pretty much that you're gonna enjoy owning it more. You will play it more. You will keep it out of its case. You'll put it on the stand. You'll put it on the wall. Like we have a beat to heck one right here to my right in a stand that I can just grab if it falls over. Yeah, no big deal. And you're just more you're just more relaxed generally around that guitar, right? You're not hypersensitive about. Gosh, if I play aggressively with my pick, will I put weird swirls in the finish? It does not matter. And I take good, like decent care of my guitars. Me I have too. a Callings from, God, I've had it over oh, maybe 10 to 12 years or so. And it's a beautiful like OM, Avalon looks mint. I probably played about 20 minutes a week. Yeah. You know, I think like I, it's just cause it's in its case. I don't want to get that first scratch or crack right. on it. I take care of it. It's, it's fed, you know, it's, um, so there's something, when we play that D28 Authentic Aged, oh. like I've, I never played an aged acoustic before, but right. it it is the best D28 I've ever played God, sounded in my life. Amazing. I've played D28s. It felt amazing. Yeah, we've played them all from vintage. And I've played some good vintage ones too, you know? So, I mean, I don't know what that one's up did. there with them. Yeah. It was right there. It, well, because the setup was perfect too, I guess. That's true. It's brand new, but it, That's true. the look was fine. I didn't even care about the look. As much as that, I just care. It sounded so much better. <laughs> and even standing in the aisle at Nam, you could hear it. It was, so, I mean, God, it was such a loud, good oh. guitar. Yeah, and then oh. that 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 would that would lead us into. Uh, I'm gonna like add a number seven here, and that was the. I think they sound better sometimes. You know, it's um that's that's gonna be questionable. But my thoughts was like less finish, better sound sometimes. Like more wood, better sound. It's a it's a different sound, but I love the way the guitar sounds. It breathes. I mean, that's true. I mean, it, God, there's so many variables that go into that, but I I just think yeah, generally, less goop. Uh, yes, like poly less goop is better. Um, so that jumps us into number eight, which is going to be the resale value is going to be higher. Why would you sell your awesome guitar? I don't sell my awesome guitars usually, but if you buy one and you want to upgrade to another one or change or you're just in a different mood. You're like, screw these relics, NOS. No, but yeah, but if you do have a relic, your resale value on a relic is higher than your resale value on an NOS or a non-relic guitar usually because it can, it's always in mint condition. I was, I was going to say, like, <laughs> it's, it's, yes, that yes, it is. No, that really cracks me up. It is. It's always perfect. Mint. Um, mint relic. It, 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 it's just, and there's a, there's a magic and mystique uh, and allure to it. That just um, doesn't really carry on with like a, you know, a 2006 Fender Custom Shop. Right. That's non-relic versus a 2006 Relic Fender Custom Shop. There's just, it's cooler. It's just cool. It's just cooler. And cooler gets you more money. I think we're just accustomed to seeing that beat up, especially Fenders or old Gibsons. It's just hard to beat that. It's hard to beat it. Number nine, it is a piece of art when Ooh. done right. It's true. We have seen relics of every shape and form come through this place, from the Venteras to the original Road Warns to some of the early Tom Murphy ones, pre-Murphy Lab. And there is a, when you see one like from Murphy Labs or from a master builder at the Fender Custom Shop, it's a one of a kind piece. Yes. They look breathtaking. Yes. Usually, I know Tom was using the razor blade technique back then and it's, it's amazing. I mean, it is amazing. And the time that goes into that, I mean, that is labor intensive work to make it really look well. And, and the detail, uh, yeah, it's, and it's to, cool. And to feel well. And to feel like well. Like that neck, like when you, cause I have some, some of my old Les Pauls, like from the seventies, like they have their finishes gone on the backs of the necks just from being played from some other sweaty man besides me. Right. I, I just don't sweat that much, but they, the finish is gone on one of them. And it's, I love the way that feels. It's, um, I've also dropped it down a flight of subway stairs in New York city once and that, that <laughs> added to the relic of the guitar. <laughs> And it didn't break the neck or the headstock. That's, oh my god! That's so that's crazy. It was, it was in a soft gig bag, but it was unbelievable. It had, it it broke a little piece of the binding and just dented it in good and like had a few little dings. But 
<laughs> I, I just knew when I unzipped, I was like, the headstock's going to be gone. This was God, 2002 Man, or three or that's, something. That's kind of incredible. Testament, 1978 Gibson Les Paul. There you go. You know, it's, um, I think it's right back there. It's back. Was, it's that we one were, below. It's we behind your back. Like, yeah. Lean this way. They can maybe see it better. <laughs> it's that one. Is that <laughs> over there? Yeah. But um, no. But that's that's part of it. And um, and like that, that's kind of it. Except for let's just add number ten. Because that's that's what you like. You know, if you like it, get it. Don't let don't listen, don't be a forum warrior and get on the forums and listen to everybody. Like, there's something. Oh, I hate really. And they, if you are that guy, don't go post it on a, on a site when somebody shares it. That just seems rude. Not if it's their like They're... dream new guitar and you're like, oh, your guitar sucks. You should wear that thing yourself, you poser. Or even like I go to the Fender Custom Shop or some of the Master Builders websites. Usually the individual Master Builders is pretty nice. When you go to the Fender Custom Shop, there'll be guys like when they post relics like, this this is a travesty. I'm so sick of this. I'm like, I get you don't like it. But like that's a guy's work. Like he he spent a long time doing that. That's his job. It'd be, I'd, I feel, feel like it's got something somebody just comes in your office like, that's not the way you should do accounting. Why are you doing it that way? You're doing it wrong. You're an idiot. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just. I mean, it's like, possible. If you, but the best of the thing I do when I don't like something, I don't buy it. Ooh. You know, but we do like the spread of ideas. And if you don't like it, like, explain a why and just be nice about it. Just don't be mean to the builder. A constructive comment is different than a. I hate you and your children should all die. Like Baxter, you I mean, should yeah. stop growing that monstrosity of fur in your face. Like, or Baxter, maybe the beard should go. Or Baxter, or just Baxter is, hasn't the COVID stuff lasted long enough? Change that. Or Jonathan, we would love to see you without a beard. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> you're, you're wrong if you think that. You are wrong. It's, Trust me. It's horrifying. <laughs> it's, it's so disappointing. It's, yeah, that's really what it is. It's like it's us just... without our shirts on. It's just like, oh. <sighs> yeah. That, that was a yeah. good lead up. It's like Butch Cassidy and Sundance. No, no. no I was... Um, Bonnie and Clyde, like in Warren and Betty, because like it, he couldn't perform physically in the movie, mm. which is funny. She's like, "Oh, you're all, you're all show with no go," and, and, and she did this like look at him. I was like, "Man," <laughs> I, I just like stuck. And I was like, "Dad, Dad, what does that mean?" He's like, "His thing didn't well, work, son." Because I was a kid when I first saw it. It's from the '60s, I think, but I wasn't alive. But anyway, still, eh. I, I've watched all these old movies. If you haven't seen Cool Hand Luke, you should watch it. It's on Netflix right now. It's great. It's it's one of the greatest films ever. Paul Newman. Why do you have to say fifty? Why'd you have to say 50 Hicks? <laughs> and failure to communicate. Greatest lines in movie history. There's so many great lines in this. <laughs> Watch it. And you don't realize how good looking these old stars were, too. It's like true. how cool they were. Robert Redford, and Butch Cassidy and Sundance. Oh my gosh. These dudes, how cool they were. Actors. Back when we had icons. What are we talking about? And that's why relics are great. <laughs> I'm done now. Help. There you go. Help me out. There you go. Relics, let us know what you think. Be kind or don't. Either way, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell. We'll talk to you guys next time. Be happy out there. <laughs>